Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim's special edition. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a guide for the unique steel dagger known as Valdir's Lucky Dagger. Of course first we're going to acquire it and then we're going to thoroughly inspect it and find out what it really does. To acquire it we will need to come to Moss Mother Cavern which is situated in the northwestern region of the Falkreath Hold. As we approach the cave entrance we will find Valdir sitting on a log. He will begin a dialogue with the player character telling a story of how he and his friends followed a bear here and were then ambushed by three spriggans. After healing him with a potion or something of the sort, we want to say that we will help him clear out the cave. Inside the cave we will find spriggans and a single bear and of course we want to kill them. There will be three spriggans in here which are kind of tough battles, so just be sure to come prepared for that. I don't want you caught by surprise, like my neighbour with no curtains. So of course kill the three spriggans and in the name of Lone Vault Wanderer, kill the bear. Once we kill all four enemies, Valdir will walk up to us and say it is done and then give us as a gift the dagger that one of his friends gave him. This is of course Valdir's lucky dagger. As we can see we now have it in our inventory. So now that we have it let's check it out. Valdir's lucky dagger. It has a base damage of 5, a swing speed of 1.3 swings per second leaving us with a total base damage per second of 6.5. It has a reach of 0.7 as you would expect with a dagger. Its weight is a very light 2.5. Unlike Vilhilya this dagger. Now that's a heavy dagger. Anyone who gets that, thaw to you. It has a value of only 15 gold. It is upgradable with a steel ingot and only requires the steel smithing perk. The arcane blacksmith perk is not required as the enchantment on this weapon is not actually considered by the game as an enchantment, but a built-in effect. And of course, this enchantment or this effect, 25% chance of a critical hit. Now, as just mentioned, this enchantment isn't actually considered an enchantment. And because of this, Valdi's dagger is a affected by the Elemental Fury Shout, which increases your swing speed. With this, you can use Valdir's Dagger to attack really, really damn quickly. And despite this effect not being counted as an enchantment by the game, Valdir's Dagger cannot be enchanted on top of this built-in effect. And with that said, Valdir's Dagger cannot be disenchanted, therefore this is actually a unique enchantment and it cannot be added to other items. Now this weapon is a weird one. A lot of people claim that it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, which at face value it seems to be with this 25% chance to get a critical hit, but others claim it is one of the worst weapons in the game, which after my vigorous testing I would agree with. It's a lot harder to figure out compared to most other weapons because of its obscure and unique effect and how that effect interacts with damage multipliers. So although the effect at face value looks really good, it's not actually that good at all. Critical hits in Skyrim are only derived from the base damage of the weapon. It doesn't matter how high you can get the weapon shown damage with perks, skill level and smithing, the critical damage is only ever calculated from the true base damage of the weapon which in Valdir's dagger's case is a measly 5 base damage, meaning a critical hit will only add 2.5 damage to the total damage dealt, regardless of how high you make the shown damage. And in case you're wondering, I did my tests using a mod that shows how much damage is actually being dealt, and from this I can confirm that even with a fully perked out sneak critical, although doing 15 times the shown damage, the critical damage bonus will still only add 2.5 damage. And that is if the enemy has no armor. And given that most enemies have some kind of armor rating, that means that in most cases, a critical hit from Valdir's dagger will add less than 2.5 damage. And don't forget, there is only a 25% chance of this happening. So on average, in the best case scenario of the enemy being completely unarmored, the average per hit damage added by this effect is 0.625 damage. And when laid out like this, we can see that Valdir's Lucky Dagger has an effect that is almost literally 10 times weaker than the weakest of damage enchantments. So although a 25% chance to deal a critical hit looks insane when you read it, once you do the maths we discover it's Valdir's very unlucky dagger. Now given the unusually high concentration of people in forums claiming that this is a very powerful dagger, and given its rather complex effect, if you do have any explanations on how this weapon is a viable choice, 
and how it's actually more powerful than I've described it, then please leave a comment helping not only me but everyone else. Just remember that I did test everything out and I used a mod that actually shows how much damage is being dealt on screen. So at the end of all that I do find my findings very hard to argue with. And simply as just a curious little fact, when drawing a standard dagger it will make this noise, whereas Valdir's lucky dagger makes this noise which is actually the same noise as a one-handed sword being drawn, instead of the standard dagger sound effect. This is the only dagger in the game that uses the one-handed sword sound effect when being drawn and when being sheathed. The reason for this is completely unknown. So at the end of all of this, I can conclude that Valdir's lucky dagger is more of a collectible unique weapon than one you'll want to use and carry with you at all times. Although being a dagger that delivers exactly what it promises, sadly what it promises is the Emperor's new cloak, or in this case, the Emperor's new poke, just like I'm going to do with my eyes now. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and I do hope that this video helped you in understanding how Valdir's Lucky Dagger actually works. Again, if you have any theories or calculations that you can back up that will shine some more light on this rather complex weapon, of course please leave a comment, again not only helping me but helping everyone else in the Skyrim community. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you check out the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Skyrim Special Edition Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Individual links can also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here on the journey discovering what Valdir's Lucky Dagger actually does. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you very shortly in the next video.